All right, before we do shot number five, I just want to explain to you a little something about this projector system. Um, it's called the Illuminating Cueing Art. Uh, Robin Dreyer, I believe. Great player, great instructor. Love talking to him, and I can't believe how smart he is. And he invented this. And if you can get one of these in your home, you should do it. It has so many programs on there, and it makes it easy. It's great for me teaching. Um, it's great. But I just want to show you, I'm not a, a tech guy. Pretty much everything you need to know. There's little shortcuts on, on the back here. Uh, we shot shots three and four, so now I want to go up to shots five and six. I'm using, I'm using my laptop over here, scrolling through the book as we do this. But also I have to do to go to the next shot is hit the up arrow. All right, now I want to shoot them over here. All right, so the two little shortcuts that I, I just learned like two days ago is H flips it one way and then V. So now I'm right back to where I want to be. You know, it's beautiful. All you need is a projector and this highly recommend it. And I don't, I'm not making any money on promoting that. I think he put uh, a discount code for me. Anybody gets it using my name. I don't have the code right now, but I'm sure there is a little something off there. And I know I put all my products in there, so they're available. Just go look it up. Um, I'll get you the website in the description. I can't think of it now, but it's called Illuminating Cueing Arts. Robin Dreyer. All right, we're going to do shots five and then six. All right, it looks a lot like shot number one, right? Almost identical, right? But it's a big difference, you know? We're going to move the cue ball one inch to the left, right? This shot's not too bad, but the next one, that one inch is huge. Or you could say an inch and an eighth. Well, we have both balls now lined up on the diamonds. All right, so now the cue ball wants to go that way a little bit more. Um, it says high inside. You don't need much inside on this, this particular shot. Let me go straight top. Straight top just to watch where it goes. That's I, I'm right there, you know. So that's why I'm saying it's very little bit of inside. Quarter tip, half tip, um, you know, but if you're shooting the shot, you don't want you don't want to mess with the corner. You definitely don't want to accidentally put any right hand in the shot. Let me just try to put a little a quarter tip. So I'm like here and just a little left. A little left might check right there. It's not much Okay. All right, it's not much of a difference, but along with the angle recognition, throughout this and much of my teaching, I teach you to respect tip position. A quarter tip or a half tip over here often can lead to one to three feet missing the target down there. So you have to, you can't be vague about tip position. And the better you get at it, the better player you'll become, I, I promise you. 